What is up, everybody? Welcome to the PTFO Podcast, Episode 4. My name is Bernsey, along with Jimmy, Kyle, and Colby. For the next hour, we'll be talking about keyboard warriors, cam slots, our favorite YouTube memories, automation, and even mix in some terrible advice. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the show. So, first topic of the day, and this is something that directly, well, I guess happened. Well, actually, I jumped into the middle of the shit, and I probably shouldn't have after I got in it, but we're going to talk about sex, how it sells, and boobs equal views, and Kyle kind of got into some shit on Twitter with a, a Twitch streamer that we aren't going to name, but... Oh, fuck that bitch, yeah, it's sorry. A, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give your opinion, sir. So we posted this article on our on our site, right? And this uh, some some Twitch streamer or, or glorified cam girl, uh, she po- accidentally opened up a penis or something on her stream. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. I didn't read. That's the, the worst part. You didn't even. I just said, yeah, you that is the worst part. She like clicks on a link that someone says they're in a Reddit or whatever. It's like a moderator from Reddit. I don't know. It's. I think that's what it was. Yeah. So, but the, she got I tricked into like click. She got like, tricked into clicking on a link. She got penis yeah. rickrolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Rick she clicked Roll. it. There you go. And I titled the article, which is exactly what happened, which was she was suspended. They ended the stream that day and she was suspended, but her account wasn't like banned. So I titled it like Twitch streamer. Popular Twitch yeah, streamer. Yeah, popular Twitch streamer tricked into opening dick pic on whatever, on stream. Yeah, and I just, I didn't, I had no I just All I see from Colby is like, hey, this is doing good. Post it. And I just see the title, popular Twitch streamer, and then the thumb, which half her titties hanging out, which I don't even know how, like, there was no nipple there, but you, we all know what that means. And uh, I just said, What does that what, mean? What are you No, I don't about? have any clue what that means. <laughs> I meant, like, you know, when you see the majority of somebody's titty and you don't see a nipple, it means she's most likely a pretty large woman. You know, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought it was, uh, I thought we always looked for the collarbone. I thought that was the trick. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so back on track. Back on so that's track. All I, that's I all I asked. saw, right? So I was just like, I wonder why, she, like, and it wasn't like, I said, I wonder why she's popular, but it was more like, I wasn't meaning like, that's the only reason she's popular. I was more like, holy shit, those are some big boobs, you know, like, wow, right. I wonder why she's popular, you know? Right, right. And uh, so then the next day, um, I think I was up riding or something. I was coming home from somewhere. Yeah, I think I was up snowmobiling. And uh, I start just my, I, I'm not, I, the only time I ever go on Twitter is to, like, make memes, you know, like, I'll post a picture and put my own meme, and then I'm like, why the fuck do I got 20 notifications? And it's just, like, this person was just, like, so this motherfucker said, like, that's why I'm, the only reason I'm popular, like, let's debate this. Debate me, bitch. Yeah, and I just, like, I'm, like, I mean, it's probably not why you're popular, but it, like, cleavage and stuff like that definitely increases your views, like, across the board for any form of like sexual content i even threw it out there i'm like i mean that's the reason like a lot of my shit got seen is because i would talk to people on chat roulette and if i ever talked to a girl with like huge boobs or cleavage i would like make her the thumb you know i mean it's actually it's not a terrible approach to things but to like fully deny it and say it doesn't even exist i mean you're borderline retarded if you think that's true she was, I, what is there even yeah. to debate though she wanted she's like i want to debate you about this that, that's well, that was why it was you yeah. Yeah. so debate. I, got, I think that's when Jimmy got in there. Is yeah, when we she just was got home debate from the what? Movies, <laughs> and I jumped on Twitter and I, I saw something to the effect of she tweeted or she replied to Kyle and said something about it, it's not the whole thing. Or it just it, it made it sound like she was denying the fact that boobs equal views. And I responded and I said, surely you don't actually think that boobs don't equal views. You're trolling, right? And then shit just goes nutty. I've got female streamers tweeting at me saying, just coming at me like I'm being sexist or something. I was like, I'm, I'm not. The only thing I'm saying is that it is a fact that boobs equal views. Sex sells. Look out on TV, commercials, books, movies, you name it. That's what it is. And if you put somebody with big boobs, a female, usually... In a thumbnail, it's got a what way better mean, chance usually? of getting clicked. Well, I, maybe Who some people like guys' boobs. I don't know. But that's <laughs> the, the point, thing. They the were, they were is... taking it as, as 
that was the only reason we were saying they were popular, which is far from the truth. You can't no, just... all I was saying is boobs equals views, and then you showed me a picture, like you tweeted out a picture, like her top four videos all have her tits hanging out in the thumbnail. Dude, yeah, you exactly. dropped the mic when you sent the picture of her sucking the con N64 controller. Yeah. You're like, yeah, sex doesn't sell or whatever. And that's then, when and I was like, oh. White knights, all these white knights jump in on it, and they're like, why are you guys picking on this girl, whatever? And I was like, I'm not, I'm not literally not picking on her at all. I wasn't focused on her. I just said boobs equals views and there's nothing to debate i mean there's I'll nothing go get wrong with statistics. it either there's, there's nothing wrong no, with it no. it's just a fact it's a perfectly good strategy yeah. yeah i think it's perfectly fine I, if you're I, if you're a hot girl and you got yeah. big tits and you want to throw them out in a thumbnail or in your videos why wouldn't I you mean, perfect example case in point we talked about the the celestia vega girl on episode one and there's your there's your hard facts i mean she's putting it all out there and she's growing like ten thousand subs a day She's gonna she's gonna go from one to a million in a couple months. I mean, just that's it. <laughs> Boobs. Well, I mean, you could you could probably do it in in ten minutes of research. You could take the top five Twitch streamer gamer girls and then the mo top five most popular girls who game, and I guarantee you they don't match up as like skill levels of gaming and popularity. If that makes sense, like the ones that are showing their tits or taking a million selfies or all that twerking for kill camps are getting way more tips donations followers than the people who are actually better gamers oh 100%. and this girl is and this girl is in that other side i mean her yeah. logo is the brazers logo the second most popular porn site brazers logo well debatable and she just changed it with her logo and the, tell me you're trying to be as, taken as a serious gamer when you're ripping off the brazers logo to like well i mean you know. it, she's trying to be taken as a serious entertainer and that's that's fine i like once again I wasn't judging her content or anything. I was just stating a fact that is it, it's internet fact. Boobs equals views. I mean, that's it. It's not bad. It's not good. It's however you want to shake it, but that's the it's truth. It's smart. If you're not going to, I mean, if, if your purpose is to get views, you find, you know, whatever ways it takes to get views if that's what you're going for, you know? I mean, I'm yeah. sure she makes a living off of doing Twitch stuff because she gets enough people in there, but that's when I kind of started, like, like, that's pretty much all I said. I'm like, I'm not saying that's why you're popular. Like, yeah, the 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 description of that post said that, but basically, and I just said the only reason I said it is because you have huge tits. I'm like, you know, that's pretty much what I was saying. She's like, oh, you're backing down now. Like, she's like, let's debate. You have a this. low IQ. Yeah. So no, anybody, she, she anybody wanted that sits attention there, because at the end she tweeted at Keemstar and said, "Here's your drama alert." And yeah. She just yeah. More attention. Like, more attention. More attention. Yeah. But I used to do that too. Like when I would have like a mom video. I would find a picture of a MILF on the internet and put it in the thumbnail. You the mean those weren't the actual moms from the videos? You fucking <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a fraud. No, Dude, I've, that's how we've made our entire living is, oh shit, what can we put in this? Like that post is a perfect example. I, it wouldn't have got clicks if I wouldn't have found pictures with her titties hanging yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I Maybe. have to make sure I don't open dude comedy like whenever there's yeah, i gotta make sure the kids aren't behind me or something in my office if i open do comedy and that's shit's real yeah and uh, but before it's we clean, move no. on just to let everybody know an update on the platforms uh people are asking for this podcast to go out on different platforms we are on itunes which hopefully you can find the link in the description on whatever platform you're watching we're on google play we are also now on spotify so we had a lot of people requesting that and i know people are wanting soundcloud so we're working on that, and iHeartRadio should be pretty soon, too. And, of course, we're on YouTube, and I believe, starting with this episode, we are also going to be on Facebook. So <laughs> we're, try we're trying to make easy access for you guys wherever you want to listen to us, whenever it is in the day or night. doesn't matter. We see the tweets, people saying they're listening to us on the way to work, or we are the reason they made it through their work day, and that is amazing. We, we, we're checking everything, the comments, tweets, and we truly appreciate all the support that you guys have showed us. And we're just getting started. I mean, this is episode four, and uh, we've got a long, long way to go. But it's a, it's a very good start. Going on. Also, uh, out of the top 100 on the podcast. Oh, yeah, we've, been, we've been in the top 100 since, like, episode two. We bounce back and forth depending on when we what post. day we upload. But that's pretty, that's pretty freaking sweet. We also yeah. have a dope new logo. We do. Yeah, we cartoons. Do. We got, yeah, Check out yeah, our cartoons, got, man. We, we are now cartoons, and it, I was looking at the logo, and it makes sense for all of you, because Colby and the Tito's, if you watched episode one, you know Colby likes to drink Tito's. Kyle with the bleach and the, and the shot glass, because Kyle's I'm suicidal. Kind of a, a troll-type funny man, and burns hockey, but I'm not really 
a guy with a gun. I mean, well, I know, and I didn't know what what to put, and that's the picture you sent me was like, I know, well, you yeah, Call well, of Duty the, guy, the artist. You, but I, I'm, I'm really, well, I'm trying. And we'll get into that some other day. Um, yeah, he used a picture <laughs> where I was at the the Call of Duty motion cap, and I had one of those guns. And now I'm thinking about it. And I'm looking on iTunes, and I'm looking at our branding, and I'm like. Everybody's going to think that I'm like this gun fanatic or something. <laughs> oh, dude, this. we should switch it. Just tell me what you want. What do you want, like a, a mic in your hand? That'd Dildo. be pretty cool. No, I'm Dildo. keeping the gun. It's badass. Dude. I just, it's just, I'm going to, I'm just going to pretend that I'm FPS the Russian. Gun, the gun something. man. I don't know. Anyway, we have some cool new branding that is a lot more fun than what we had. So, yeah, what is our next Topic. What do, let's well, speaking of FBS I was Russia, gonna, I was gonna go a little FBS bit Russia? further since we were talking about like cam right? girls, we were talking about like uh, other Ooh, girls on the shot. in the YouTube scene or on the Call of Duty scene. But uh, I don't know if Kyle and Colby know much about this, but that Adriana girl, Fizzip's girlfriend or now ex girlfriend, because they passed away in a car accident in October, has been looking for attention like all over Twitter. Like she, when it first happened, she was like all traumatized. Saying, "Oh, he's always gonna be my boyfriend," and all of a sudden, she's just, she's just moved on. The whole story is a shit show. I mean, yeah, I don't even really know what's true or not because there was like one version of the story, a second version of the story. Put it on. I'll us. just, I'll recap yeah. it for really quick. I have no yeah, idea. Jimmy could so recap. Jimmy probably yeah, knows more call, than I do. Yeah, Call of Duty professional. I, I knew him personally. I didn't know him well, but I've, I've met him at events and stuff. Really cool guy. He passes away in a car wreck with another, with another male that I don't know his name and then his girlfriend Adriana and she puts up a Twitter video a couple hours later and she's bawling and says he passed away in her arms and she'll never love again blah 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 so we fast forward a couple months and Fizzerp's mom makes a Twitter and starts throwing out allegations that she was lying and this girl was actually the one drunk and driving showing pictures of how the seatbelt was across her chest and all kinds of stuff like that and it's been going back and forth. And then yesterday, she, the girl just, I mean, she lost her shit on Twitter. She tweeted out that he was a druggie and he had what was coming to him. And she hopes anybody oh, who's shit. had loved ones no. get to feel what yeah, she, she felt. She tweeted something. She's like, I hope this all happens to you so you yeah, know. Yeah, I hope oh, this all yeah. happens Gosh. to you so you know. I mean, we're talking just some bad shit. And then, of course, she got just vulture attacked by the community and Fizzerp's mom and other people. So it just, oh. I don't know if she's going for attention. I don't know if, if, if she's in the wrong. The stress level's so high that she just cracked because she, the, she's afraid the truth is going to get found out. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the facts. Maybe it's just her way of grieving. I don't know. That's not grieving, though. I mean, well, I just, everyone yeah. grieves in a different way. Maybe she, I don't know. I don't know her, and I don't really know the whole story. But that's one of the reasons why I hate social media in a way. Like that shit should never be put on there. Like on you a know, they live domain. they live streamed his they live streamed his funeral on Twitch. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, we're in a weird world yeah. right now, man. I feel yeah, like if somebody, like if somebody really close to me died, like. The last thing I wanted to, you know, I mean, I understand the point of people putting, I mean, they need people that are, like, supporting them, but, like, throwing something out there like that to just, like, random people, you know, like, when YouTubers, like, what was that, like, uh, the dude that got abused by that one girl? Matthew? Santoro, dude, yeah. that guy, yeah. Like, when he made that, like, why, dude? Like, like, I just don't get why people, I mean, it's just, I guess people get in such a rhythm of, like, posting everything in their life on there, and then they, like, certain things just, like, you know certain things just shouldn't be posted to a bunch of random ass people that you know it's just i just feel I like know. yeah there's a uh what's the burns you'll probably know this right when i start saying it, it's like how deadpool crosses like the that third wall or whatever that the phrase is like when they or you're like there's a line or a wall i feel like there should be like even as a creator you can maybe share your whole life and stuff but there's some stuff i feel like should never like that's that's just weird and you shouldn't call out people and hope that they have people die that's just wrong, man. You should but, kick her off Twitter for that. Yeah, there was people saying she should yeah, be banned. But. There was like that's that's fu- that's like way past the line of like yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, it's, it's like so with our, when my wife was pregnant for the second time, she had a miscarriage. You know, like really early. Like I wasn't like I had no like like you're gonna have people that are just gonna if you post something out there like that. You're like this is how the internet works. You got the people like saying sorry, sorry, sorry. Then you got the people that are like good fuck you and your family and your dead kid you know like something like that like it's just like there's just a certain line where you just like just personal stuff you don't need to share yeah hold your shit together like you don't need to 
post a video like what was going through your mind when you, your boyfriend just died and you post a video crying and saying like I don't just that a couple makes hours no later sense. yeah that makes yeah. no fucking sense no. like what are you looking for like what do you like I don't, I don't I really don't understand this uh I mean this is reminds us of another another post we did the other day this dude literally crashes his car breaks his leg he's all bloody guess <laughs> guess what the first thing he does Jimmy Burns. <laughs> He live takes streams a selfie. on Facebook. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, 100%. He gets on Facebook and he's like, guys, I might die here. I'm dying. I'm dying. My leg is broken. And it like shows his leg. He's all bloody. He's that's, like, I got to end. He, I know. Hey, but in a situation like that, that's kind of savage. I mean. I know, but then this is the worst part, though. He goes, I'm going to end the live stream now. I got to call 911. The dude yeah. didn't even call 911 first. <laughs> like, call 911 in live stream. His first thought was, I would rather get attention yeah. than get medical attention. Yes. Like, so, yeah. actually, there that was... That actually kind of leads into one of our other topics when Kyle was saying, like, you would have the kids that get on there and say, good, fuck your family. And that leads into... We were, we were going to talk a little bit about keyboard warriors. And that is the epitome of, of a keyboard warrior. And the reason the, the topic kind of came up or we discussed pre-show talking about it was Keemstar had a fan event uh, a couple days ago and he had a big event there was like 500 fans there and then one anti-fan showed up and it was caught on video and he was talking crap to Keemstar like just saying crap to him but then when Keem got in his face and said let's go outside the dude like I think he ran away and it just goes back to uh, keyboard warriors and one of the reasons that you see that kind of shit, Kyle. I mean, you know it is because they're they're protected by a computer screen and a keyboard. If you get ninety nine percent of these people, and most of them are younger, in a real life situation, they're gonna freak the fuck out and they're gonna run away. I mean, you never see a, it happen. This is the first time I've ever seen like a fan confrontation, like someone. Yeah, but that, no, you've seen it before. But there was still no fight. I mean, the dude, he's like, oh shit, I talked enough shit. Now he's gonna come at me and he's gone. I mean, yeah, but, yeah, but that, I never he seen, was like what I mean is I've never seen like haters warrior. that uh, or uh, such a weird term haters troll that, troll yeah Hate troll that. but uh that like would tweet nonsense at you and then show like show up I've I kind of respect that. the guy for showing up in yeah. a way yeah a little bit in a way in a way yeah. I think he would have got him too he was a pretty big dude he was a pretty uh, big dude so I only person I'm a keyboard warrior to is Skip Bayless. Anytime that guy tweets something, I'm like, dude, you are a clown. I don't know why I'm not blocked, but I'm just like, dude, you should not be on. You get paid for this. You're a joke. I've, and like I've I, been to I, a ton yeah. of events, a ton of events, and I've never once ran across any of these that you see on the comments or on Twitter. Drink bleach, die, your family's horrible. Or if I post a picture of one of my kids on Instagram, somebody just some really, really horrible shit they say. You don't see these people in real life. They don't yeah. come. They know. Out. I think a lot of them say it because it gets attention. We 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 see those comments. The negative. Well, you know what happens when you respond to them? When when you respond to them, like when I get Facebook um, shit, people are like, "Dude, you're a fucking sellout, bitch." I'm like, "So sorry." And they're like, "Holy <laughs> shit, I didn't think you respond." What's up, man? Big fan. <laughs> yeah, big fan. Here. Always been, been following you for five years. I'm like, I've had it something where someone will be like, stuff? "We'll say something like that," then you reply to them they're like, "Oh, I was just." Trying to get your attention. How are yeah, you? Big fan. I mean, it works. But well, that yeah, also yeah. goes with there's less and less of social skills because there's less and less interaction in real life. I mean, it's all done on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all these different platforms. And I think a lot of the younger kids, they, they really don't know how to socially interact with other human beings in real life. They really well, how, don't. What do, you, what do you know what they're doing off of? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying all of them, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a good chunk that they live vicariously through their phones and computers. And you're going to be socially awkward when you go out in real life and you're looking people in the eyes, especially if somebody you talk shit to and they find out it was you and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like somebody like that's what uh, people are toxic shit to people. They act like they truly enjoy too. Like I, I can't count how many times somebody has been like, Dude, you're fucking gay. I'm like, dude, I always just respond sarcastically. And they're like, oh, I didn't think you'd respond, man. Like, I've been a fan for years just trying to get your attention. I'm like, that's how you try. That's how the new school gets people's attention. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you suck. You suck. You suck. What? Like, I, you suck, finally man. got me on the line, but that's how, like, that's what you, that's how you wanted to approach it. You know? That's like, the last thing. Dude, I, I actually have a, I actually have a good story that I've never told before about, like, oh. keyboard warriors or ever actually talked to one on the phone. Let's hear it. What? 
Yeah. All right. So back when I uh, we talked about this thing in episode one when we, like Jimmy accidentally put my name on on the live stream, <laughs> and it, it ended up uh, it ended up getting uh, my parents' house swatted or whatever. And the guy who did it was taunting me on Twitter about it. Usually, I just I would just ignore him. I don't think I ever had one interaction with him on on Twitter. But he would send something like every day, and so like I looked through his Twitter profile to see who else he interacted with. And there were other like ha- glorified wannabe hackers that would interact with him. And someone actually doxed him. And oh, I remember this. You have told this story. At least you told us. I might have told you. Yeah. So yeah. he, the person, he had someone else dox him. And I took a screenshot of it. And then that tweeter, I think it was on Instagram that the guy posted it on. He ended up deleting it. So I called him on Skype a couple of times, and I didn't get an answer. And then one time he answered it, and I asked him if it was him. And he was like, is this Burns? <laughs> like, yeah, dude, what's your problem? What are you doing? Uh... And then was it, a, it was a little kid, wasn't it? He was maybe 16. Yeah. And I looked up, like, his, like it, it was, like, his parents' names that, that were in the docks or whatever. I looked up, like, their house. He lived in, like, a $9 million house off the ocean in Massachusetts or some shit. What? Dude, so remember, just, like, a spoiled uh, kid like our hacker friends. kids. Yeah. What? Remember the hack? Remember the hacker kid that uh, your friend Anthony found? Like all of his info. We're like, dude, both his parents are doctors and stuff. And they stole Kyle's Skype. Kept taking our Man, site if down. Most of these parents, like you see the script kiddies and the hackers and all those. If most of these parents knew what they did, they would beat the living yeah. hell out of their kids. The yeah, his dad was like an investment banker, like owned an investment wow. uh, banking firm or whatever. But nothing ever came to that. I actually like gave this to the police. Dude, that. you should have nah, We don't give him. a shit about that. We got more important things to do. Dude, you should have sued that fucker. Yeah. You should have took his dad's practice. We yeah. could have been running it right now, dude. We, we, could, we could be doing this podcast on the ocean in his house. Yeah. It's fine. not too late, man. Let's bring it back. Statue of limitation doesn't exist in online I have bowling. His, I have his phone number in a file on my computer still. What if they would have shot your dad in the leg or something? Oh, you'd be so rich right dude, now. Dude, you could be low. <laughs> hey, speaking, speaking of, of shot... We that night the Twitter thing with the boobs equals views. We just got home from the movie theater. The next night, right there in the parking lot, right where I parked my car at the same movie theater, somebody got shot and killed. <laughs> oh what? shit! Why? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> what kind of neighborhood are you living in? <laughs> yeah. Well, this wasn't the neighborhood. This was in the middle of town behind the the mall. Damn, I guess there do was. A, do you live in a small community? Uh, forty thousand, forty-five thousand. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for him. I mean, but it's just crazy that we were there the night before and then somebody gets shot and killed in the parking lot. I mean, it's just. Probably over a stupid ass argument of I'm somebody sure. talking in the movie theater. Or somebody said something on, on social media. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, yeah, it was a dude from Twitter. I've told this story place. before, but we used to be fucking like. When we would go to movies with our buddies, I mean, we sometimes, most of the time, we would be jackasses, but. There's this one time we went, and there's, like, these six dudes behind us that were all wearing, like, leather jackets. Like, they were definitely Russian, and uh, they were fucking smoking cigarettes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why were they Russian? Because they were, I would think, biking. We heard them, we heard them talking, but they oh, okay. were just, like, yeah, right. they were they were Russian. And it's okay. a, in an area like Auburn, Washington, where there's a lot of Russians. So they're smoking in the movie theater. We're kind of, like... During the theater, like, during the movie, we're, like, looking back, like, what are you guys doing? Like, just fucking smoking cigs like crazy and, like, talking and stuff. And, uh, like, we didn't really say anything. Like, we were just kind of, like, kept looking at them. Like, what is, like, like, they look like some iffy characters, you know? So, so fast forward to the end of the movie, we all walk out and go to our cars. And there's a lot of people leaving, so there's a little bit of traffic in the parking lot. And uh, my friend Cody were, like, dude, there they are. They're, like, walking while we're driving, you know? So... We're like, dude, say something to him, Cody. Like, say something. We fucking drive by him, and he screams out the window at him, fuck Russians! Oh, and I'm shit. like, dude, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, come on. Like, it was, So we didn't really think nothing of it. We kind of just sat in this traffic line, and um, we could see cars in line behind us, and the, there was a car that was, like, going around people, like, like, you know, trying to hurry and get through this line. We're like, dude, that's probably them. Like, we're fucked, you know? And... Uh, we get out of the parking lot and we stop at a stop sign or stoplight and they pull up right next to us. And, you know, I mean, we're just not taking the shit too seriously. You know, we look over and the passenger fucking pulls out a gun and like over their shoulder and just pow, pow, pow. And like the back window of my friend's car, like 
truck just like shattered and we're like ducking down and I'm like, dude, fucking go! Like, I'm they like, shit at you. They shot at you. Well, you well, dude, literally let me got shot at. So we, <laughs> let me keep going. So we fucking, I'm like, dude, he stopped. There's like a, there's like a, a car stopped in front of us and he's like, I'm like, dude, go around and fucking drive over the median. Like, what are you doing? Like, he, he wasn't like, as I was like, as I, I don't want to die. Yeah, dude, I, cause, well, because something hit me in the, like, when the glass shattered, like, something hit me in the back of the head. And I'm like, dude, am I fucking shot right now? You know, like, <laughs> so we just fly out. We like, we keep going and we notice they turn a different direction. And uh, we kind of like, like, you know, when your window, like, even if something small hits it, it like shatters. So what yeah, it turned yeah. out is it was just, a pellet gun you know i mean like a pellet gun pistol uh, and it just had hit the back window that shattered but i mean still it was like like one of the, like the scared most moments of my life and like i still can't to this day cannot understand why my friend who was driving you know i'm like like dude get the fuck out of here like what do you like they just shot at us and he was just like dude what like what's wrong yeah <laughs> not like, the i would have had, the, the had my foot want. on the gas and yeah, not the yeah. guy you want in the in the pilot seat in this yeah he's like there's a car in front of us i'm like fucking drive over the median dude get <laughs> or drive over that car dude yeah get like we here. just got like i'm thinking it was a real gun i'm like we just got shot at and your back window shattered and you're not urgent right now like you got mental issues and did it I mean, it turns out that that dude started getting into drugs and stealing a bunch of shit, stuff like so that. So those so dudes he, trolled the shit out of you guys. You had it coming, too. <laughs> I mean, I mean really did. that's kind of taking it to the next level, but... Yeah? But, you should have uh, known, no, man. We, they, leather they, jackets. They were fucking smoking in a movie theater. Uh, okay, true, true, true. But... Yeah, but you come with, back with a fuck Russians? Yeah, that... Yeah, that was... Like, you escalated said, the situation like, when you didn't been mean like, to. He could have been like, can you guys not smoke in a movie theater next time? But he just goes, fuck Russians! Just like, <laughs> what? Probably the, what are you the worst? Get, <clears throat> how did they not get kicked out of the movie theater for smoking in it? Nobody said anything. They're just, I mean... They're fucking they're, Russian mafia, dude. Yeah, Who's that's what I'm like. I ain't telling on them. They'll rape me, man. <laughs> well, they shot at you. I know. <laughs> With the BB package, just picture cut. I don't want to die. I want to live. I, I would have been screaming, dude. I if honestly your wasn't almost driving. walked out of the truck and started running because he would not move. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. All right. Russian mafia story. What else do we have? What else are we, are we going to grace these people with that is on our mind, Burns? We, we need a good argument. Go. We got some... Uh... YouTube memories. What do you want to argue about, Kyle? Is that what you just said? You want to argue about something? <laughs> Didn't somebody rebuttal my whole sex thing? <laughs> I forgot what they said. They did. No, they said. Uh, they said. Well, now with with technology, we can artificially inseminate women, so our species would keep going on if everybody was. I'm gay. really surprised you didn't get way more backlash from that episode. Yeah, I. Remember well, I wasn't. Too. The thing is, I wasn't. I mean. I, I know you like, weren't, but the way you lead off with stuff is like super cut and dry. It's like, yeah, you it's, you, you hit boom. the PowerPoint and then you say, but I don't mean it like that. <laughs> but that's it. I I was kind of just like when we, when we looked at the purpose of like the meaning of life, like we were looking at like different levels. You know, I was looking at it from like a species standpoint, scientific. Well, you guys were looking at it from like a you know like how to fulfill, like how to make your life. We were looking yeah, at it from what, like yeah, a philosophical. Your, your lead off yeah. sentence. I don't remember what it was. But doesn't it, make sense to be gay. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, right that's a horrible way to lead. But it if you it. look at like, I mean, you could easily counteract that, you know, just by saying, well, like, you know, I like, what if you just love that? You know, what if you love the same sex? Right. You know? and, right I mean, right, but right. I was looking at it from a species standpoint and like not just our species, you know, any species and like our species. Yes, there's an asterisk by it because we're smart enough to artificially inseminate ourselves. But, Ooh, you know, like if all, if all deer became gay deer would not exist you know that's kind of what i was well context. we could domesticate them yeah. and make them <laughs> I'm talking to like if, if deer only there's only fucking deer that lived on this planet they would not exist if they were all gay <laughs> okay fuck it. okay all right yeah, someone yeah. had a someone had a rebuttal or not a rebuttal but a funny thing to say about uh colby's move trying to connect movies together Oh, yeah, great. something oh, about Kobe's the Will mind. Ferrell. Yeah, one. yeah. Remember what you were they say? Like, Will Ferrell movies were connecting. And some dude in the comments had the funniest thing to, to say. He was like, "If we're gonna talk about movie connections, what if Leonardo DiCaprio actually didn't die in the Titanic, and that's his character washing up on the shore in Inception?" Jeez. Holy shit, dude! I never even thought about. This. Oh my 
You know that there's a dude. That's actually crazy. What? Hold on. What is Colby? This? Hey, hey, hey! When this podcast is over, Colby's gonna go deep six nine searching this, on Google to try. This to commenter is making fun of him, and deep he's like, six, maybe nine. he's serious. I don't. I, I completely made that up, Kyle. Did it sound oh. like? <laughs> did it sound deep sixty nine? Like sleuth investigative. Hey, what if? Listen to this though. What if Matrix Two was directly related to Matrix One? No. What if? And what if they both? together told the story of matrix three you know what so what, matrix what the fuck came are out, we talking about matrix YouTube came memories. out when we were kind of youtube memory matrix came, th- 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 uh, matrix came out when we were kind of young so i just liked it because all the karate shit <laughs> but then once i actually watched it and understood it when i was older it's a fucking great series that's like okay, ocean's okay, 11 quick, the first time quick, i watched real quick, real quick oh, all ocean's three of 11. you will just go down the line colby red wet red pill blue pill red pill you stay naive and you stay in the matrix blue pill you're aware of Everything that's going on, and you know it's a program, and you, you release. Oh from it. fuck! I'm gonna. You're uh, a blue pill type. Yeah, I gotta go blue. Blue. So you're gonna die, okay, Kyle? I'm, I would he die I'm, I'm because red, he's man. he's gonna go fight with the rebellion that don't even have good clothes and stuff, and they fly around. Wait, the I thought the blue pill was just stick to normal life. Okay, whatever. Well. Fine. Yeah, he was sticking. He was sticking. To I'm normal sticking life. to normal one. Whatever okay, that blue one pill is. Was I'm learning everything. The Matrix and you're not self-aware and red pill is you break I'm out snort i'm snorting that fucking red pill so it hits me quicker man okay you're going red pill burns birds you're going blue pill all day no dude i want I, I think you got the pills backwards that's what i thought too that's why well, fuck. i don't yeah the blue pill is the story ends you just wake up in your bed and that's what i said to believe. start yeah. with no you didn't i think you did i yeah, think you did. switched it halfway through jimmy you switched it when you were explaining colby but so okay. blue pill blue pill is you're naive yeah, blue pill is you stay, you wake up and believe whatever you want. Right. I want the yeah. red pill. I want to go down the rabbit hole. Show me what's true. I, I care about. I care about. I am the true. one, the one, the one. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what are you? Do you staying with me? Or are you going with these two nerds? I think I I like steak and sushi and stuff, so I'm gonna stay with Colby. Nice. Yeah, sushi's good. You don't want to are know there... where the rabbit hole goes? Uh, no, because you're not that curious. You just want to live in fantasy land. Well, rabbit hole usually ends up... I mean, that, that usually probably goes hand-in-hand hand with death. So, no. So? You're going to die anyways in the blue pill eventually, aren't you? I don't know. You're in this computer program. Maybe they can just keep rebooting you. How cool Speak- would that be if we actually were in a simulation? <laughs> what oh, was great. it? Um, the end of Men in Black 1 or 2 where we're all like in a locker or something or we're like all just these big aliens, little play toys or something? Oh, it's also like the Lego movie, dude. We are just Legos. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Speaking you... of cra- speaking of crazy movies, you know Home Alone. Like, dude, how is that guy such oh, a, a <laughs> dude? How is he such a genius, man? Like, this guy doesn't go to the police and said he just tricks these two con men who are wanted. Like, come on, man. Macaulay Culkin, dude. All right, keep going, Jimmy. YouTube memories. What 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 do we got here? I don't know. But We're just gonna go. Well, Col- Colby doesn't really have any YouTube memories. Well, so I can give you one. That dude got caught on Chatterbait. That was a good one. Oh, I can just tell you a funny YouTube story oh, that I like. Oh, was at that the end. I Fly Illini? Yeah. Yeah, I remember oh, that. He was married. He's caught jerking off for okay. money on a site. All right, someone give me this story. What's I crazy really like it. Is he had just exposed Raw Instinct and his channel was blowing it up. That's yep. right. Like life changing. Like, I mean, he was instantly going to have really good money. And then he goes and masturbates for like money. So this is a, like a gaming guy? Yeah, it he was. Chatterbait. Uh, it yeah, but that, his career. That, that was serious stuff. I think he got kicked out of like the Air Force or something for that. Yeah, he course. makes music. He was now married. Yeah, yeah, he was getting married too. His wife left him, I think, didn't she? I don't. I, yeah, there was a whole shit. Maybe show I'm just about speculating. It, but... I don't want to like make up something that's false. All but... right, so that's Kyle's <laughs> best memory: a dude wanking it on stream. Burns, what about you? <laughs> Favorite memory? Like, I thought I was just gonna go with like real life stuff in YouTube. It would probably be like visiting YouTube. I visited. Jimmy once by myself in Arkansas, and then we went to yeah. Kyle's twice. Sure, that was fucking awkward. What, what? was awkward? <laughs> Just joking. What was awkward? I YouTube thought we had a visit. blast when we stayed in, in Seattle. Yeah, it was good times. No, nah, I was joking. Remember you fucking broke... I just moved to that house, and you broke my sliding glass door. Or my uh, my uh, screen door. Who did? You did. Did I pay for it? No. Oh, well, that sucks. We oh, yeah. should all meet up together in Vegas and get drunk. Yeah. Well, I want to. I like. I was telling you guys earlier, if the podcast 
if it does decent, I want to get you guys down here this summer. We'll we'll do some shiz. Hang on, so Jimmy's if, mansion. If it does decent, it's got like a Playboy mansion down there. It's got the out. pool, the huge yard. <laughs> Your house is like massive. Friends? It's yeah, it's almost. 6, you didn't hear what Kyle said. It's ridiculous. We're not just friends. We have to fuck. The podcast has to do good for us to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, it's I off mean, to a rocky if, start if the podcast was making money, then we could say it's a write-off for travel. But if it's just friends, you guys got to pay for your own shit and like fly your way down yeah. here. And that's it's always no, a you just make always. an Instagram video. And that's yeah, I'll write that shit off anyway. I'll just yeah, something yeah. stupid. I use uh, my, my laptop my on the best, plane. Or, uh, my biggest YouTube memory, just in general, I, man, there's been so much shit happen on YouTube since I started. There, um, that Chatterbait one was a big one. I'm going to go with... <laughs> it was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. God, there's so much. I don't even know. I don't know. Just the feeling when you first like really You've had all week to think about this, Jimmy. I hey, know. let me tell you. Let me tell you mine uh, as an outsider looking in while you think of yours. Uh, the iDubs dude when he sh- just absolutely shit and shredded the leafy guy was amazing. That, that content was cop was really amazing. Good. I don't really like the iDubs dudes like as much, but when he did that video, I was like, dude, that's a, I'm a big fan of this guy. It just killed him. It's like when Eminem was rapped about himself and like anything you could say about me, tell them they don't know about me and drop the mic. That's like what he did. Like, oh, come back at me. That was, a, that was a very elaborate, put-together video, for sure. I think it ended Leafy's career. Well, it didn't end... It, okay, hold on, hold on. It, it, it hurt him. It hurt his brand. He, he lost subs, but people are always like, oh, he killed you. What, and it ended his career. I mean, if you actually look, I mean, he's at the point... Once you, once you go viral with the channel, if you continue with that channel, you can... Take it until the fucking wheels fall off. I'm not saying you're always going to make that huge money, but Leafy can post a video, get two to 500,000 views, and live very comfortably for the rest of his life. And people are like, oh, he's done. His career ended. He's going to leave the... No, he's not going to leave the internet, and he's not going to be broke unless he has really bad spending habits. He does do LSD and shit, but... He lives by us now. He does? does he? Mm-hmm. We should Where? get him on the podcast. He lives in Seattle. No way. Mm-hmm. In a ghetto ass apartment, but it's probably still hella money. Sorry, I'm eating ice. I, I just don't understand how that I does video didn't get like fucking removed and flagged. Like that was just like pure abuse. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> what the fuck? Like I, that's what I don't get. It's like that was a true. I mean, well deserved, but like a truly like bully video. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoyed well, it. I thought it was awesome, but I feel like, like there's so many damn double standards on YouTube. Like it's just crazy. Like the dude literally just shredded him. You know, and, and I mean, take into account like he's also a popular dude that has a platform to return the favor. But like, like that's what it was. You know. No, I like I've that. I've gotten bullying for I've got a, a bullying strike for calling out child predators, and I had their face blurred. You don't even recognize that person, and I've gotten strikes for I've got like four strikes for bullying when you don't you can't even see the person you know. YouTube supports child. Po- oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm not no. gonna say the p word. Not saying the p word. I stopped myself. All right, Jimmy, what's your story? Dude, you know, there's probably a shitload of child predators that work there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what serious. You think that? There's got. I mean, there's got to be. There's, there's Where does shit. that come from? <laughs> well, okay, let's hop in. Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever done that watchdog thing on the internet? Like, put your house in and see how many child predators yeah. are around you? Yeah, it, it, some of the stuff can be, you know, deceiving, though. Because it's like some people will pop up and then you actually look into, like, what they did. I mean, sometimes it's like an 18-year-old that made out with a 16-year-old. Oh, I have actually a good story from someone I used to work with who has uh, a friend who got labeled as a child sex or a sex offender and he really didn't even do anything you want to hear the story what happened to him all right so he this dude i worked with he had a friend in high school who was like just like videotaping like his senior year just like fun moments or whatever and he was going around the school being like having girls like see if they would flash their tits for the camera or whatever hell yeah and he had like all this like footage of a bunch of girls like just flashing their tits or whatever and he got pulled over one day for I can't remember what it was for, but the police had like probable cause to like take his video camera. His video camera was like in the car, and they saw all of that and they counted it as child porn. What? And so he is listed as a sex offender for that. 
Wow. So that's crazy. But my brother, who still, I haven't really talked. So he's he started. He met this girl on MySpace, who would eventually be his wife, who is like a certified fucking lunatic. So he is she his got, wife right now? No, they're divorced. So oh. and they have two kids. So he got. He got into a, like, they got in a bunch of fights, whatever. He got into a fight with her, and her thing would be to to call the cops and to make sure that he got arrested would say something completely out of line. So she actually claimed that he raped her, right? He claimed he raped her, which she later admitted that she lied about. So for her claiming that, he got marked as a sex offender, even though months later she admitted in court that she lied about it and he's still labeled as a sex offender what well, that's like the, does that's that like, make sense that's like the dude from the the seahawks picked up he went to jail for like six years and then like had a full ride to usc and everything and then this girl false uh claimed him because he was black she was white told her dad that he raped her he got put in jail for six years and she finally came out and was like ah i was kidding he got another chance, but obviously six years of your prime. Yeah, but he, how is there a, not repercussions on the person that lied though? Is there it should be? Wouldn't should there I be think some kind of law is. where she has to serve what he served? That's what I would say. Would be there should punishment. be, but there's probably not. I mean, eye our state, eye? our state is ultra like, like when it comes to like disputes and stuff like that, is like always on the woman's side. You know, like like she had. I mean, it's hard to, I guess you know, like. It's kind of weird to talk about, but, like, she said she fucking raped her, and she got zero repercussions. He actually went to jail for a little bit, and and then she, I don't know if she felt bad or whatever. She admitted that she completely lied, which she did multiple times, and she still has zero repercussions. Actually, in Idaho, he actually, she, he didn't have to pay child support because, all like, she got in trouble with Idaho, but I think, I think in Washington, he's still... Got some shit. He, like he's he can't see his kids or anything, even though she lies about all this shit and admitted not not that she just lied. She admitted to lying about everything. That sucks. You know, and yeah, just Washington State blows when it comes to that stuff. Let's move. <laughs> Where would you guys move to? Utah. Utah. Only reason why is because you can go get a huge house for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. No one bugs you. Get a lot of land. You can there's, too nice Mor- people. there's too many Mormons there, though. You can do. You have something against Mormons? Well, they're Colby's, nice people, but they're fucking Colby's crazy. parents are Mormon, and Colby. Colby's Mormon. Do you parents? tell people you're Mormon? Yeah, I still. Well, yeah, but there's this. I mean, I'm not trying to get. I'm not going to get super into the whole thing here. But everyone always is like, "Oh, you're Mormon, but you drink Tito's." It's like, you got to understand, man. Like that doesn't mean I don't like when you're brought up with one thing and you learn it. Like that's what I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Are you seriously religion. Mormon? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, no, listen, I'm not going to get into religion at all, but this all I'm going to say is... Oh, I'm laughing at just Burns' comment. I, just, I, didn't, oh. I didn't know, man. I didn't know. I get it all the time. I don't care. Like People yeah, say it all the time. Like, you live know. in Utah, there's a lot of Mormons you there. You don't I'm practice like, it, though. No, and that's... You just label yourself because that's what you just grew what up is, as. What is it with the Mormons? Are. Is that where they have multiple wives? That, well... Just one section uh, of it, yeah. That's okay. Okay, we should probably rare. go somewhere else with this, huh? Yeah, we don't have spin to it. This. S- spin it quick before uh, we get too deep. I don't okay, want to go no on the. Um, I don't want to go on the rails. We said on the last episode that we were going to let you guys tweet at us with your advice questions because we're all certified to to give you guys practical, good, solid life advice. And we said you could email us as well. We forgot to put the email in the description, but we'll put it in there this time. And maybe your question will make it on the show. Burns, do you have a question from the audience for some life advice? Yeah, I got one right here. We are your certified neighborhood therapists. 100% qualified to give you advice. Yes. Yep. This one comes from Mr. Positive Spaceman. He says, so I have this problem. I always liked this girl, Sophie, but I thought I'd never have a chance with her. So I started dating her friend. But now, I find out that Sophie is down to fuck. Should I stay with the girl I'm with now, or should I fuck the shit out of Sophie? (laughs) Now, my mind goes right to menage a trois. That's your only option here. Isn't another word for that an orgy? Yeah, it's a threesome, threesome, dude. Threesome. An orgy is what, five? I think you gotta get out of one hand for it to be... standard limits on it. I think once you're off one hand, it's considered an orgy. 
Yeah. Would it be more okay, than so three or more? Mr. Positive Spaceman, what, what advice would you guys give him? That's a, that's a pretty big predicament he's in. Bang I'm saying both. menage a trois. Why not go for it? Both of them. You can have both, right? Uh, I don't say both. I don't say both. And here's why. Because you go both, most, most likely you're going to burn both bridges. So you, you just got to go for Does he want to date them or does he want to just get well, with them? I think he's, from the sounds of it, to me, DTF means he's just trying to bang the other one, yeah. the Sophie it girl. Sounds like, it sounds like he, he likes the girl. I don't know what he's talking about. I think he just wants to fuck both of them. Well, I reach out, we reach do. out to this other one. And be like, hey, like, if you're serious about this, I'll fucking kick that other one to the curb. Yeah, that's what I say. Unless yeah, you but would, be, would he unless you want to be secret them with the same message and see which yeah. one? Yeah, I mean, unless you want to be secret about it, like say, or I mean, are we, if you're if you're not Facebook official with either of them, I would say both of them and uh, make sure one of them's in on it. So be like, be like, like actually, so this one he wants to fuck, be, just be like selfie. Be like, so I'm with this girl, but don't tell any. You know, it'd be kind of cool. It'd be actually be cooler sex that way. We'd be secretive about it. You know, oh, secret lovers. Uh, so you, I say, should, you should, you think he should manipulate her? Uh, no, I would just be honest. You got to be honest with one of them. I say you don't commit to Sophie <laughs> until you have guarantee. <laughs> I say you don't commit to Sophie, the one that he likes, until you have guaranteed, yeah, hundred percent sex on the table before you ditch the other one. Yeah, Which you have to get of, your guarantees. This has to be yep. a guaranteed contract here, guaranteed money. Yeah, get you it in writing. Sign something. Hey, funny thing, when my senior year, that was the so, first year so of freshman. So you're saying there's money, so now we're assuming these girls are prostitutes? No, no don't no, take no, it no, to no, off no, the I'm rails. Making, it's just, where, well, are you even listening? Every, <laughs> hey, my theory is every woman is a prostitute. Right? For the right price. For the right For the right price. I'll be a fucking prostitute for the right price. We're going to have enough sound bites of you just... All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Let me go into this. This is one of the biggest debates we've had of 2016 here in the lock of the house. So, my little brother, right? I asked him straight up, dude. So, nobody talk for a second. Let me finish this fucking story. So, I said, dude, what would you rather do? Would you rather dab your tongue... On a dog's asshole for half a second, or like fully give a dude a blowjob to completion. To completion Were for you... a half a million? No, it was like a hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you rather do? Dab your tongue on a dog's asshole, or give a dude a full blowjob? Right. And what do you think he picked? Uh, is there money for both options? Yeah, yeah you, you get, get the same amount. You get a hundred thousand for either. He picked full blowjob. Yes, and that is, and his theory was like, dude, there's tons of gay guys out there, gay porn, they do it all the time. Like, I'm like, no, like that's still weird. You what, you can't feel comfortable with yourself after like. T- what does that have to do with you stating that all girls are prostitutes? Uh, it's just something we were putting a price on. But he, I mean, <laughs> is it? Don't you see the? Wouldn't you rather dab a, to- a dog's asshole for half a second than give a dude a full, full yeah, like five minute dog every job? Time. Oh, yeah, Paul and I went instantly to dog. And this, by the way, this has been brought yeah, up. Hold on. on, no, we can't stop there because he needs. Clo- I need closure. Why did you say that all women are prostitutes? No, I said all women are. I've said anybody's a prostitute for the right price. Yeah, okay. he said anyone. You want to butt fuck me for ten million dollars? Back to the classic. You want to butt fuck me for ten million dollars? Statements, and then you follow up with what you actually meant. Well, yeah, well, Kyle no, just I said admit, ten million dollars. You can give him a, a prostitute. Rim Same job. With everybody. You know, every man is a prostitute for the right price. Rim uh, job for you one million. You can't tell subs. me that you would turn down a million dollars to get butt fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Bird, what is the other bad? Uh, price? Maybe not a million. <laughs> butt sex for one million um, subs. <laughs> let me look here. What do we got? Oh, off the rails. But hey. Why would you give a full completion I mean, blowjob instead of just yeah. licking a dog's butt for it's half a second? It's not even a lick. You don't even have to, th- you know, you just dab it, you know? Um, the only one I was able to find was, uh, and I wasn't able to screenshot it, but I remember it offhand because it was one of the first ones that came in. If someone says that they haven't been on a date in a couple of years and they're going on a blind date this week, and what advice can we give them so that he's not as nervous or anything in general? Get drunk. Get Next drunk. question. That's Next. what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so blind date. Who goes on a blind date? Some, Does he not know people, anything about No, no, no. Girl? There's more options here. He could, he could rub one out early. Yeah. Then, well, yeah. You, you always yeah. got to take the pregame shit, too. Yeah. That's important. 
I got another one from somebody too. Yeah, another. but the the main goal is get there. If you're going to a bar, just get there an hour early. Wait, who the get fuck you. goes on blind dates nowadays with Tinder, Instagram? You got yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Does, does, has he ever has he ever met this girl? Has he ever seen pictures of her? Has yeah. he ever talked to her? But send her, send her overall, just go to the, go to the bar an hour early before she's supposed to be there and get yourself nice and drunk and. Before that pregame shit. No, that's that. No, no. I guess I'm gonna have to be the voice of reason. With <laughs> Who this takes a pregame shit on a date? <laughs> you're gonna be. You're gonna be. You gotta get it out of the system, dude. What are you talking about? Uh, well, okay. okay that, on, by the way, we... that is from the the world GTS. Is who sent us that question? I have. Okay, right I've got here. one more. Okay. I just found, and this is the best one. So we're gonna do this one. Crazy Wait, whoa, no, pause, Jimmy. You have to give us the voice of reason on why yeah, we're not we're getting drunk. You can't reasonable. start us. Because you want to, I mean, it goes back, be a fucking gentleman. Come on, you're not going to be a gentleman and, and really put the, the, the smooth on this girl being soused and fucking shit-faced. Uh, I mean, false, <laughs> dude. That's how I get my best game, dude. Met my wife drunk on my birthday dude, Halloween. You dressed no, as Batman. Is, you can't. You have to get her equally drunk. Okay, good the point. The no, girl said pregame get drunk on your own. Well, yeah, you gotta I, get there an hour. No, okay. Burns, You're Burns, I, I'm gonna get drunk with her. No, I'm with Burns. Okay, so true story. Graduated college, moved back to Utah, went on a date with a girl. Text my buddies who are still in college. I'm like, dude, I can't even talk to this girl. Like, what's going on? They're like, dude, go to 7-Eleven, get a four loco, chug it in the car real quick. I'm like, all right. So I left, went to the 7-Eleven, chugged a four loco, came back, spit so much game, dude. She's married with two kids now, but I spit so much game. I'm with Burns. Got to get liquored up. You have to, especially if you're a more introverted person. You want to get a couple drinks in you. Did you, you did you? Did you hit the liquor before the Tinder girl came over? No, dude, we got drunk together here. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if she shows up and she and she's like, "This guy's already drunk right now. This is fucking weird." Yeah, we're not saying get off the rails like five fireball shots, nah, man. but just maybe two, maybe one beer. Just two... get a little loose. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. you start off right, by get right. you fucking get her that first drink. She doesn't know you. Sprinkle a little something in there if you have to. Oh, you steal, you steal <laughs> that fucking deal. Oh, God, you you steal the deal. Uh, we do not. We do not. We do not. And, we, no, we don't he met MDMA. He he met MDMA, not and then you roofies. Admit, you, after she's after she's feeling loopy, you admit to her, be like, "I'm gonna sprinkle something in there. I hope you like it." <laughs> oh and my you see god! Where that goes. Oh, okay, we're last going to question. jail. Last question. Crazy Burns, fifty-five. Hey PTFO. One time I was dating this girl, and I went over to her house to meet the parents, and I had to shit. So naturally, I didn't want to shit to gross so her out. You know what I mean. Shit. But I had to go so bad. So I went to the bathroom and I was shitting hardcore. Well, shit, haha, the toilet doesn't work. So I just wiped my ass and I left without telling anyone. So my question for advice here, what does one do in that situation? So he left a pile of shit in her parents' toilet and he didn't flush it or anything. He just left it hot and then left. I think he already you answered his own sure question. You wipe down all your fingerprints before you leave that bathroom. You don't you pop the lid off of it and try to fix it. You know it's probably something to do. Hell with no, the... you don't try to fix it. No, because it could make it worse. He's not qualified for this position. <laughs> yeah, you I'm. Fingerprints yeah. down and you walk away. What's yeah. the movie where Ben Stiller takes the big sh- or no? Maybe it's Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. Yeah, he well, takes it was the big, big Stiller shit. too. No, Ben Stiller did the one where he put like her fa- favorite towel. Yeah, that's what it was. Ass or something. Yeah, and then it, then he tries to fix it and makes it way worse. And it's so all over you're the saying ground. because he's not a certified plumber, he shouldn't try to fix the issue? Absolutely not. I think he already answered his own question. Get the fuck out of there. That's the answer to that question. He already did it. Mm -hmm. Wait, did he already bang her? (laughs) He was like meeting his parents for dinner or something. He was dating a girl, and he went over to her house to meet the parents for the first time. Well, how long has he been dating this girl for? Because if you've been together for a few years, having to take a shit's not a big deal. We're gonna yeah, keep it real. That this is like high school love, and it's not been that long. And he's he's nervously meeting her parents for the first time, and wants to make an amazing impression. If you're in uh, high school and you're meeting a girl's parents, you're making a huge mistake. Yeah, burn it. It's fine. You can let that one go. Yeah, but you uh, you also say that he should leave it run. How is that gonna set him up with the girl? You think the girl's gonna be into him? Dude, high school, he could find another no, chick already, in 10 yeah, minutes. I mean, he's, yeah, it's he already over. Serious. Oh, actually, you think it is a lot more serious than it really is. Let me tell you all, you high school kids, it's not serious. Don't waste yeah. your time. Love Don't waste your life. Love in high school. Get. Just fucking do your thing, man. Focus on other stuff. Other girls. Other schools. Branch <laughs> out. 
Network. Spread of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What would Sean Kemp do? Spread them seeds. So if, if you want to tweet or email us with your questions, uh, they may make it on a future show. But as you can see, the, the advice you're going to get is, well, well, I'll leave it up to you to... to we t- are certified <laughs> therapists. Determine. Condoms don't feel good. Hey, uh, it's the truth. <laughs> Could you imagine truth. how fucked up our world would be if either like Burns or Kyle was a legit shrink and you actually went in there, sat on a couch, told them your problems, and then they gave you the answer to everything? No, no, you'd be, just, you'd be way better off. You got uh, people lying to you, man. I'll keep it real as fuck. Yeah, suicide rate would be a lot higher yeah. for Kyle's patients. Like, hey, you're not <laughs> you're not satisfied. Um, <laughs> Here. So yeah. here's a here's a uh, here's a, is this medication? No, this is my gun guy. Go pick one up. Yeah. See ya. That's Kyle there. Good call. How, okay. How oh, you... No, no. Here we go. He's got the look would, in his eyes. No, I'm just curious. Like, what would be the worst way to die? Like, I feel like drowning. No, drowning, yeah, drowning would be would the fucking... best way. To, no, no. That burning, would be the burning, best way man. to die. Burning, burning would be the worst. I don't know. I, I don't think I could jump. Like if I fell off a building, like that. Okay, would, yeah, that's. I wouldn't be. You would you still are, die you are instantly, to, but you are going to go through more pain burning than you are drowning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I I think the cycle drowning well, is more terrifying to think about. Drowning, you just black out and you're. Well, here's here's Before the thing: you're even dead, you still have a chance of somebody saving you. You know, but like. You're on fire. You jump off a building. Like I think jumping no off a return. building isn't as bad because I was about to say something stupid like, "Oh, everything running through your head." But I guess it doesn't matter because when you splat, you splat. Yeah. I mean but, that. Yeah, but knowing but, my luck, I would splat in the right thing where like my brain stayed active. And oh yeah. Sensors. Yeah. Yeah. At least you're like, like if you burn or jump off a building, like your body is fucked. But when you drown, it's like you could at least have a respectable funeral. Yeah. That's, well, I mean, you've already started the cremation process if you're burned to death. Yeah, <laughs> Saved your family. There's no, money there's no open, open casket for that one. Well, I mean, I would definitely go burning. What are the other options? Strangulation. You go, wait, about you that? would go burning? Oh, I think strangulation. Oh, the worst would way too. I think anything that would re- or anything that would involve slow pain would be the worst. Like getting bit by something like a snake and then slowly watching your arm swell up as you're on your way to the hospital like you're not dying making from it fever and all that stuff yeah or something like, like that artery like an artery hit you know then you're just kind of like doing yeah but you're so gonna if, they, if that's the case you're gonna bleed out in a matter of seconds or well that's what i live. say you know you just you're looking at it and you're just like dude i'm gonna die right now like i feel perfectly fine besides my art- artery like spewing out blood <laughs> like i'm cool but i'm still gonna die yeah, that'd be pretty bad. I think anything that involves a long process. Is do the you bad guys way. do you guys think in those moments like like you just said that let's say your your artery is done, you're okay, you're chill, but you know in, in in a minute or two it's over. Do you think in those moments people like get super clarity and things slow down and they like see you know how they say life passes before your eyes? Do you think it all like slow mos? Down. Dude, it goes back to DMT, what we were talking about earlier. Your brain's going to overflow you with that shit. Yeah, I've, I'm getting on Facebook Live at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I got well, two minutes left. Artery's holy been sh- clipped. Like this video. <laughs> share it around. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe for more. Oh, yeah. shit. Never mind. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Okay, we got to end on some. We're at an hour, but we got to end on something positive. We Dude, just, this has been just, in, uh, just this a. Is dark. A, yeah, we've been all over the show. place. Yeah, what in the world? We had like a game plan and then... We talked about rape, everything, dude. This is dark. Roofies. What are we doing today? That's all the topics I brought up. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> Everyone you, ta- you brought up, definitely. Well, that's that's it. This is We're at the end of the show. So, Colby, you want to you wanna take us out of here? Well, we haven't once talked about the iTunes link, so get that in there. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like and favorite button. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you guys uh, check out iTunes. Uh, give us that five star rating. We're already at 113 or 14 awesome. ratings at this point. Um, iTunes is the best because we move up the charts, trying to get to the top of the charts. Subscribe and you get notifications. Uh, hope you enjoyed it's this a lot episode. To listen to on your phone when you're driving. It is, so. especially yeah, you're driving somewhere. You throw it on there. YouTube is good too. Like if you're multitasking, you throw it on a throw it on a separate tab. But yeah, iTunes a is lot probably. Of people have been tweeting at us saying they're that's what they're doing. Like they're were their were their entertainment on their way to work, home from work, or 
during work that's a really shitty job and they need an escape. So we're, we're serving as some people's escape, which is really fucking cool, honestly. I mean, we're if you have it. People are trying to escape their bad day. We're on here talking about suicide. Dude, Jimmy. <laughs> right. Right. Next, op- next episode is going to be a more positive hey, episode. Jimmy, write that down that we should change our uh, our description to like helping you survive your shitty day. PTFO podcast. That's actually a pretty good one. Also, don't forget, uh, Spotify link is active on mobile. So you guys should be able to find us on there. And Google Play if you're an Android user. And yeah, we'll have more next next episode. We will also probably be available on iHeart and Facebook will be available. Actually, Facebook will be available on this episode. So when this goes up, definitely share the shit out of it on Facebook. We're going to try to grow that platform as well. And that's it. Yeah, this was I don't even know how to describe this. I don't know how we're It wasn't as bad as it ended. Label the topics of this. It was definitely the most serious episode we've had since we've been back, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, that means we can hit Highs and lows and all angles, which is cool because there's really peaks and valleys. There. Peaks hey. and valleys. Yeah. Awesome. That's it's it. See you Sunday. Bye. We're out of here. Right, See you, you Sunday. Guys. Every Wednesday and Sunday. New episode. iTunes gets it early. Bye. Bye. Bye.